Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Empire. I believe this is going to be episode 16. Um, I could be incorrect, but I'm pretty sure it's episode 16. Anyways, in the last episode, we finally, and I mean finally, finally, were able to battle Demetrius to get our third gym badge. Um, and afterwards, um, we saw a vision of um, Heinrich um, pretty much setting up, um, you know, Cheyenne to to uh to die um she was ran over by uh like a pack of tauros and it was just this is pretty bad um hmm. dear god i've known her since she was a wee babe this can't be happening wow first her mother now this i don't understand You've got to be kidding. Another accident? My god. Cheyenne? Honey, please, talk to me. No, 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 no. No. Yeah, that's rough. Step back. We need some space. Miss Cheyenne? But I just saw her this morning. What the hell happened here? I swear on her memory that who was ever responsible for this. How did this happen? This is rough. This can't be happening. Sir, we should get her out of here. We already recovered the other body and we'll need a full team to go and corral all those Tauros. I need a few moments. Alone. Sir. Yes, sir. All right, folks, come on now. Let's all get back home. Give the man some space. He said always, uh, he always said she needs to be protected. She needs to be protected. And I never knew from what. God damn it, Ellis. I failed us. Again. gone they're all gone my wife my daughter my best friend and now his daughter damn it ellis why did you make me swear to protect her i was never half the father half the husband that you were you i never should have i sheltered cheyenne it was overprotective guess i didn't know any better i swear though it was that pull Whenever I was around her, I felt this, this love for her, like I had to protect her no matter the cost. Like a second chance at having a daughter. But now I'm asking myself, why didn't I shelter her from you? You, the only one of those League Challengers to go above and beyond my commission. The only one to actually defeat me. And the only one Cheyenne was spending meaningful time with lately. I never should have let you stay here, Seliana. Seems like you create chaos everywhere you go. Eh, that's kind of messed up, man. First you make a mess in Calvera for Captain North. He kind of asked me to do that. And now this. Like, I hate this shit on the scene, but he... That's not really a good example. I was required to do that. Listen. You're going to tell me what you know about this. Then if I find your answer satisfactory, you're going to leave this place. Otherwise, you may not be leaving here at all. Do I make myself clear? Good. Well, I guess that brings us to now. In honor of our new council's rightful procedure clause, I'll first tell you what I know, then you can respond. So when we found her, I, I'm sorry. She was found. Mr. Wallace, the barkeep at the saloon, said Cheyenne had stopped by to leave her bag with him. It appears she was intending to leave the province, and on her person she was carrying a book and had a love letter in her pocket. I recognize the signature at the bottom of the letter. It's from the head researcher that was here a few years ago when Origin first installed their weather devices. Looks like Cheyenne was planning on running off with him, guessing that's why she's been so obsessed with Origin since they've been back here again, even dragging you into whatever you two were doing out by their facility out there. Noticeably missing from her person was her earrings. She wouldn't have left those behind, but we haven't found them. It's possible they were taken or even destroyed, but that remains to be seen. As for the accident, 
We had witnesses report of the last origin peoples coming through here, but they would have departed well before the time this happened. Other than that, we have no witnesses. All we know so far is that the origin researcher Cheyenne was apparently running off with had been waiting here for a short time before Cheyenne herself arrived. He also didn't make it. Could still smell the hormones on him. One of the Toros must have really done a number on him for him to smell like that. But by the time I got here, there's going to be hell to pay if they, uh, those belong to someone's ranch. Now, what do you know about what happened? Origin is lying. There was a hitman. It must have been an accident. It was me. What? You think this was set up? So you're saying some other blue-haired youngin showed up out of nowhere, released a whole horde of Nortoros, killed Cheyenne along with an innocent bystander, planted this love letter, stole Cheyenne's earrings, and then vanished into thin air. I don't know what the hell you think you're talking about, but I could have, arrest I could have arrested you for saying something that downright crazy. And even if that bystander wasn't so innocent, why would anyone go through all the trouble just to steal a pair of earrings? I sense there's something here you ain't telling me. But maybe you can explain this to me. Cheyenne was carrying this book, some kind of history book, but written like children's stories. She had a few hastily written notes scrawled in it. Most of it ineligible or just looked like nonsense to me. But one word there underlined. You see it? Hawthorne. I gathered that means something to you. Good Lord, seems like you were both tied to that family somehow. I gather you're familiar with the youngest daughter, Alana. So what am I missing here? What does this mean? What does this have to do with Cheyenne? Damn, dude, this is getting good. Hold on. Damn it, Celiana. North and the Hawthorns all be damned. You were supposed to keep your head down and nose clean here. But there's some kind of awful secret you're hiding from me. And if I didn't have my eyes on you, when this goddamn tragedy happened, I'd have a half a mind to suspect you were involved in it somehow. God. Ellis. Cheyenne. Mm. All right. Here's what's going to happen. I thank you kindly for all you've contributed to the town, but I'm afraid we're no longer square. If you really don't know what happened here, then you owe it to me and Cheyenne to find out. Now I reckon you- Didn't I just tell you what happened? Now I reckon you have information you're withholding, and I can only hope whatever it is you ain't telling me is for the long-term good here. But this note said Hawthorne, and I s believe it. Uh, ugh. This note said Hawthorne, and I believe it said for a reason. So you best track them Hawthorns down and find whatever Cheyenne was looking for. You best believe I'll be doing the same. I know Dr. Hawthorne better than just about anyone, so understand I'll be following up with you about this. And with Heinrich, Lord knows what he might be responsible for. I shudder to think. And I need to take care of the proceedings here in town first. <sighs> you know where Alana is. Better, uh, you know where Alana, you know where Alana is better than me. But Morgan Hawthorne, the council member, was in Tullamon Enclave last I heard. And of course, Doctor Hawthorne and his wife are in the SCCL, the Starlight City Corporate Labs. But since you signed up for the league, you knew that already. If I were you, I'd start with Morgan. Then you can reach Al uh, Alana any time, apparently. And Doctor Hawthorne isn't hard to get a hold of either. But I'd reckon, I'd reckon Morgan would be nigh impossible to reach when she's in Starlight. If you can catch her a little power, uh, catch at, if you can catch her at her little power plant in Tolomon, though, and yeah, I can uh, send someone out there so you don't miss the proceedings. I imagine those will be in a few days. All right, we've talked long enough. I uh, hmm. damn dude, the melancholic music. That's this is just all, all rough. No. So now we know, we know who the target is, the regalia, or well, what the target is. These people want the regalia. Um, okay. Let's uh, hit the train, I guess. Tallman. Look, if you really want to try to get Tallman, maybe find one of those... Amokin drivers with the do uh, Dodrio cart. They'll take people to some of the less frequent places. You know, so long as the price is right. I think I remember seeing one just north of the breeders in Ilrian Farms. Just take the roads south, uh, south out of Atria here on the west side of these train tracks. Okay. This is rough, but it's a pretty good ending to the arc, I gotta say. 
It would now be in both our favor for me to take you to Ptolemy and Enclave, but such a journey is long and will not come as cheaply as you might hope. I must charge 800, no less. Do you find this favorable? Sure, why not? May the winds blow ever in your favor. Why does it do this? This is supposed to be the start of chapter four, but it's like, it's cropped out for some reason. Oh well. Okay, so let's, what is Ptolemon? I hope this arc is not as bloated as the last one. The last one was really bad. Like, holy crap. Really, really bad. Okay. All right. Here's your paperwork. Remember, we're not tour guides. Any accidents occurring in the molten area, industrial zones, that includes the power plant, relevant mining operations, or other designated strata, uh, or in any area not classified under the Ptolemy zoning laws, section three, subclass, blah, 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 are not liable for composition from your ensuer or other third party affiliate. Signing here indicates that the Tele and Grand Council, Coutier, and representative personnel are not responsible for your rescue or, okay, God damn, do I really need to read all this? We are responsible for recovery of body and personal effects in the case of such an event after 72 hours of mischecking. But if we, the search party deems the search unwarranted due to unnecessary personal risk, this agreement is considered void. Now, please fill out the appropriate information regarding the contract of, of your next of kin, contacting of your next of kin. Thank you. Do you need further clarification? No. All right, then direct any questions to other soldiers or qualified personnel. Please see the private at the gate once you finish your paperwork. Thank you and welcome to the Ptolemy Enclave. All right. So I, I'm I'm like really hoping this part isn't as bloated as the last one. Like that was it was it was a cool ending. Um I like the story beats that were dropped, but it was so much fucking padding, it's ridiculous. Like really it's really bad. Like <laughs> like took three hour long episodes. I can return you to the Illyrian Fields. Oh no. No. There's a, okay, so now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure. Hold citizen files, please. And do you have a trainer card? Okay, register league challenger. All right, thank you very much. I'm sorry, what's this about Major Myers and Director Hawthorne? This does sound serious, but I'll need to check our logs. Direct communication with council members outside of designated hearings isn't typically allowed. Still, even if we did receive a wire from Major Myers regarding this matter, the director currently in some ongoing meetings with some Titan industry exec. Yes, well, I know Demetrius is a league leader. Normally that would take precedent, but this Titan exec is actually here on behalf of a league leader as well, Eddie Reiner. And the Reiners are not people we want to have on our bad side. So look, citizen, we'll do what we can here. But until then, you're still as a lead challenger, yes? Then perhaps you could help us with something in the meantime. Here it comes. We've been dealing with an influx of sanguine serpent members ever since their operation in Calvera was shut down. We've already flushed most of them out of here and stopped them from getting any sort of operation established. But with Director Hawthorne visiting, yes, last thing we need is some thug popping out of nowhere. So see, so see if you can track any stragglers down. Only place that we haven't securely discarded is the Tellurite Mines inside the mountain here there might be a vein that opens up into an area closer to calvera who knows anyway just follow the tracks up through the entrance and follow them to the right follow the tracks up through the entrance and follow them to the right oh and uh, if you have, if you do venture down into the Mines, mines bring in a scrape rope like seriously please try not to get lost it's a seriously long way to have to drag a body rough some people think arthur's a bit too aloof or even a pacifist but considering all the horror Politic, politicking and bloodshed I've seen. It's refreshing at least. Some people call him a nihilist, but I hear he's always making sure the plant's working properly or is off on his own tolling away putting his thoughts to paper. So what's the word for someone like that? An epith? No. Existentialist maybe? Either way, he suffered through his craziness like the rest of us. And for that, he has my respect. Okay. Well, um, even after this enclave was open, there was a little mining town just downwind from here. The place was already on its last legs, don't get me wrong, but apparently the people who lived there were always at each other's throats. I'm sure it was about politics, ideology, probably religion, the things you'd expect. But Arthur Cade, the leader here, was originally there, was originally from there. And I've heard that 
when the town turned violent, his close family was right in the middle of it and even may have incited the violence that led to the fire. Still, he lost almost his entire nuclear family on the same day. I think he just had one brother that lived. Compton or something. I don't know much about him. And I mean, Arthur was always a little introverted, but that sort of thing could turn anyone into a full recluse. Yeah, that's fair. Nothing out this way. Best to turn back. Alright. Tolman Enclave. Another League Challenger, eh? Pokemon Center is up the stairs southeast of here. And then the straight north up the to uh, straight up straight north up toward the power plant entrances. And there's no official Pokemart, not enough public commerce, but the guy outside of the mine entrance sells some odds and ends. Then the Lunatone Lounge up in the Serenity Spring should have the rest of what you need pretty much covered. As long as you found all that, then you're gonna wanna look for a way to get through all the rocks around here. You'll wanna have a Pokemon you will want to have a way for a Pokemon you will want a way to smash through the breakable brown rocks. I'd head up to buy some of the housing between the Erie and the Springs. There's an excavation there for that. Uh, yeah, you'll just have to, you'll want to see for yourself. And if you want a mining kit to get the goods out of those glowy blue rocks, head straight up and down the rail from the entrance. Jesus Christ, tell me everything at once. Holy fuck. I didn't want to come here to work, but just like anything else you just get used to it you know it's weird how much uh how much most people utterly low change and yet we're awfully damn good at it aren't we i mean i feel like i've learned so much because i decided to come here guess people are just afraid of big changes a little more than they should be huh that's fair Different companies have different mining and uh, production rights here in Tolliman. I work for Titan Industries. Personally, wait, did that laptop move? Them and uh, Welf Welfort here, Welfort have lion's share, but Origins, it is moving. But it's starting to gain some ground in some of the more risky areas. So everyone gets along well enough. It's probably cool when you get to see some dude from your rival company belting out. Okay. What the fuck? Bzz it's a Rotom. Wait, where did that Rotom go? Am I the only one seeing this? Huh. What's in here? What's wrong? Got a bit of a scare out there? No problem. Have a seat and get comfortable. We'll both be hollow before you know it. Wait, what? She challenged me to a battle? Fair? Bearer of the Curse. Corvus Squire. What does that mean? Bearer of the curse. Hmm. There's no vacuation. What does that mean? Stunned fist. Oh, this Pokemon can finally evolve, too. That's pretty good. Oops. I'm in the level range for that, at level 32. Thank goodness, because Whimsicott's a pretty good Pokemon. Spirit Tomb. I lost all my PP! What the fuck? By eight? Jeez. Oh my god. I know what's happening. This is a freaking... Yeah. PP Staller. By all means, go ahead. You want to stall PP? Should be enough to run through all of you.
This music, holy crap. The only problem with this game's music is that it's like, because it's not like, some of it's licensed stuff. So I've been getting copyright claims on my videos as a result, which isn't really that good, but I mean. God damn it. This is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Does everything in have pressure? God. This Wobbuffet's bulky. I probably don't even have any attacks left. One, two. Whatever. Props on stage of life, and no matter how tender, how exquisite, a lie will remain a lie. What? Shut the hell up, lady. Tell, uh, tell? You're right. I do get such a warm feeling inside when I get the chance to help others. You didn't help shit. You just freaking wiped all my PP out. There's a, there's a Yoak guy. Why are you so hyped about this plant going nuclear, babe? Isn't that even more dangerous than the coal plant you wanted to get out of? The ten, uh, the Tandor region has uh, had a massive fallout, and having these huge reactors and power plants is like waving a sign asking terrorists to attack them. I didn't sign up for this. Okay. I don't think any of this shit matters, so I'm just going to skip. This game has more than enough dialogue. Nuclear, I like wind and solar. Wind and solar, sure, why not? Two satchets, whatever. What the? Huh. Mom says to have an exception. Uh, we have an exception, so we get to live here with Daddy. Works at the uh, while Daddy works at the plant, and that means I'm going to be exceptional. Did I say that right? Mom always said I need to grow up like Morgan Hawthorne. Did I say that right? But I don't want to be like Morgan Hawthorne. She has resting bitch face. Oh my god. Molten Crest, West Helen Cave. Pokemon Center should be around here, right? Locked. Um, that's that guy's house. Here it is. Okay, cool. What's happening over here? Hey, have you seen Director Hawthorne around? I heard she was meeting with some executives from Titan today. One of the Reiners. Wow. I was hoping to get a small interview with her for my sociology class. I mean, the power plant was already on my to-do list. See, I'm trying to get approval for my graduate project regarding its social ecological, uh, ecological implications. Sure, Dr. Hawthorne has done amazing things for women in the STEM fields, but her obsession with potentially dangerous energy sources is concerning. Sure, I know nothing has ever proven that sort of conjecture, but it might happen at some point. Maybe. Hey, man. What's this? Oh, hey there. Thank you. You could help me keep me company. Sorry, I just can't do this anymore. I don't want to end up like my mom, so I signed up to come out here. Do you have any idea what happened to the lower class in the cities? I just wanted a chance. But now I don't have anywhere else to go. Anyone else to turn to? That's rough. I feel you, though. You're one of the league challengers. You smell like outside. Wait, the sink is moving? Okay, hold the fuck up. Stop talking to me. But do you have a seizure? No, I don't have a fucking seizure. I'm gonna just stop talking to these people because, like, unless they're giving me shit, like, this, this game has way too much dialogue and it moves so slow. Alright, where are you? Okay. Doesn't seem like anything's happening, so. Just gonna move on then. Gosh, are you a noble or something? What the heck? Just what we need. More privilege with white people. What the? F I can't say that on a. 
YouTube. So. Charmeleon. Death is equ equitable. Afflicted by the curse. What is this curse? Why is it hurting Pupitars? I feel like I'm not really sure what's going on with this curse, but it's kind of bullshit. I'm not. Ooh, it's shiny. Snarl. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I should have known that wasn't going to do exactly anything. Also, how come Pikachu wasn't taking... Hmm. One thing I, I like I like Pokemon Reborn for, and uh, I think Desolation... Uh, not Desolation, I haven't played that. Um... That I think this game and uh, a rejuvenation failed at is that it would explain to you what the field effects were doing in in the game. Um, so, kind of sucks that they're not doing that anymore. But would be nice if there was because like PBS is already such a complicated ass like way to look for stuff. This has got to be the least diverse place in Tellius. I gotta go freaking here. Also, why is the price going up every single center? It goes up by 10. I've been studying currently under Mr. K uh, Mr. Cade. I'm just too smart and strong and rough and ruggedly handsome to lose to some wannabe league challenger. Okay. Okay. Afflicted by the curse. So what what makes it so some Pokemon are affected by it but others aren't? I'm kind of curious. Death is equitable. Uh. Okay, so this either the steel part or the fairy part, but it's not taking any damage from it. Rough skin. Jeez. There's a lot of residual damage. We're going down together then. So you must have studied under him too then. I have no idea what you're talking about, Crystal Core. Move. Who is the experience here? I gotta get you to evolve as soon as literally possible. Like, I can't be walking around with a cottony anymore. Right, let's look around. This a... I didn't realize I love this place so much. It's amazing how low your electric bills are when you're not getting taxed out the ass to subsidize wind and solar. I've learned so much from all the other researchers and technicians here. 
but they also have super strict policies. Only the best people get to come here to help with the director Hawthorne's project. Mess up and you're replaced. So please don't tell anyone I'm the one that flooded the toilet that got that in turn electrocuted. I can't help it. The sushi here just goes right through me. What the fuck? Hawthorne's power plant. Okay. They say this place curses anyone who shed blood in it. Let's test that theory. Wow, dude, you're going to cause yourself to bleed? That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. I was going to say that did no damage. Lots of that actually did a pretty respectable amount of damage. Inflicted by the curse. Hmm. Does hitting another Pokemon... What? Why would you switch into that? Water pulse. Nope, we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. Soul retrieved. I don't feel cursed, do you? Okay, so if you if you deal damage, you take damage. That's what's happening here. Uh, so that's why that NPC down there was a pain. The strategy is fighting in this place. You get your HP siphoned every time you do damage. And then you get your power points siphoned uh, from all her spiting and pressure Pokemon. So that at the, at the very end, you're like killing yourself with struggle. Okay. But let me drop some knowledge on you. The Enclave is a lot more than what you see on the news. This is one of the most advanced and safest places in Tellius. And if you want proof, try looking for some hidden crystal cores. Check around difficult, uh, different rocks and places you usually look. Trust me, you can get your hands on some crazy technology with enough crystal cores. But, beyond the Enclave's borders is a whole system of unexplored tunnels and chasms. From the river of lavas and massive falling rocks to blackouts in the tunnels, a lot can go wrong if you stray too far. But other than that, most folks here are just simple mi uh, miners, researchers, or engineers. Personally, I love it here. I get to escape the political nonsense of the cities, uh, of the cities hide from my ex-wife, abuse the great Wi-Fi, and while making absolute bank. What more can you ask for? I'm pretty sure I, there's a lot you can ask for. But... Tellerite mines. Okay, I'm not ready to go into the mines. I'm gonna explore some places. Sorry, this way is up to the Telemain area is off limits. Much of the powerful dragons raging around lack infrastructure that could pass even the most basic safety inspection. That sort of thing. Arthur just has it closed off for now until we have enough time and resources to make it a priority again. Okay. Not anytime soon, I'd guess. Look, if you have a problem with it, go take it up with Mr. Cade. Where is he? How should I know? Probably in the power plant or somewhere around the springs, if I had to guess. Just follow the signs. Northern Serenity Springs. I'm looking for the guy I can buy stuff from. There was a major earthquake here about 60 years ago. I guess a new fault opened up, and that's okay. All right. Fucking wrote him. Your dude, your TV is. Okay. I don't even know if I want Rotom because I have Pikachu, but Rotom is probably better. I okay, Rotom is better, but this place used to have a couple of different names: Mountain Trials, Field of Cinders, Fool of Ends. <laughs> Nothing positive. But adventure searchers, seekers, explorers, ruin man uh, maniacs, and all those kinds of crazy people would come here in search of valuables and powerful Pokemon. But now we are here in modern uh, modernity and some ventilation, lighting, power tools, and bang, another folktale down the drain. I mean, it's cool that people can like live here now, but on the other hand, it feels wrong to just pave over all those legendary tales with all our fancy tech. 
That's fair. Did you see the ruins of a town on your way out here? That's just a bit south of this clearing. Everyone here lives in the mountain itself now, but that used to be a, a little mining town before it burnt down. I don't think I actually did see that town. I just thought it was another casualty from the war, and I guess I technically, it technically was, but turns out the townspeople themselves all turned on each other. I don't know all the details, but Arthur Cade, Arthur Cade, you know, the leader here, and his family used to live there. Arthur won't talk about what actually happened, but rumor has it it's his, his family was one that sparked the whole thing. Can you imagine a whole town divided to the point that people literally start killing each other and burning down each other's homes? Oh yeah, the whole revolution. Good point. I'm guessing that could be a, a regalia. Maybe regalia might be the reason why that happened. Such a weirdly diverse ecosystem. Um, yeah, I could, I could probably see myself replacing Pikachu with Rotom. I think Rotom is generally a better Pokemon. Worry seeds. This prevents you from sleeping, right? Trophius. Trophius is just. I always thought that the, I used to think this Pokemon was super cool, but it's just so bad. It's like one of the most forgettable Pokemon too. When was the last time you heard anyone talk about Trophius? Like, dang. Also, it has bananas for like. I was talking mad crap, but this thing's about to actually, like, okay. Weirder than me, losing horribly, that's for sure. I suppose if you think you getting your ass beat is weird, but I don't think so. Sody pop. Zangoose and Survivor. What the? Did I see something to the bottom right of the screen? I swear I did. These miners, they drill into these springs and just immediately want to strip them of all their resources. Bunch of short-sighted, greedy little simpletons. If Tullaman's going to be its own province, I don't need, it'll need places like these springs to have its own history, its own culture. Besides, who knows what mysteries we could find here that, uh, th find here. Things that'll benefit us far more in the long term than just mining here. Like Pokemon, the first bug normal Cricketune. It's so cool that it can use its physical attacking sights or special attacking sound moves. And that's the key. By conserving these areas, we rangers develop new ways to study and learn. But by drilling straight away, you're just saying, okay, whatever, definitely can't get anything new out of this. Maybe as well as, may as well be cash now. So dumb. Like, let's not bother trying to discover a new medicine or something out of all these new plants and minerals we're finding here. Just drill them all to pieces instead. Yeah, that's fair. I'm kind of slot in, but the crystal cores don't fit. It must need something else. Guess I'll have to leave it until I have what I need. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I envy those guild explorer folk. Sure, they don't. Uh, sure, their job is more dangerous most of the time, mapping newly discovered areas in store. But at least their guild master gives them some autonomy. Zyvern, the ranger's guild master, isn't like uh, Ezrael in any uh, capacity. With Zyvern, there's extensive attention to detail and procedure. But at least with his cold, serious nature, it has led to the aggressive preservation of dozens of species in the Itonda province and beyond. But when it comes to preservation of his own guild, members like me, well, he doesn't seem to exactly foster a high retention rate. My way or the highway doesn't go over well with everyone, and we lose a lot of would-be recruits to the explorers in Polaris. I mean, it's like awesome new champion. Uh, it's like the awesome new champion Rob Casper says, "You take away a man's freedom, what? Uh, and what does he have left?" Uh, huh. They call this Serenity Springs, eh? 
Sounds a bit dis a bit optimistic to me, especially if you want to battle. Uh, oh, I was worried he'd summon a freaking magic card. I have no idea why I thought that was gonna happen. Jeez, man. Pressure is a freaking Oh, in this goddamn I already at four. Thunder Fangs. Man, imagine if he used Ice Fang. Ooh, we did it. At least the grotto there is kind of nice. Evolution. My starter has finally evolved. Whimsicott wants to learn... Pheromone Blur, but it already knows four moves. Pheromone Blur? What the hell does this do? For eight turns, a strange aerosol halves damage of stab moves and damage. What? So this, like... It... It, it negates stabs. Okay. Seems good to me. Could be perfect for using this Pokemon for like control installing Lickitung. I guess it works against it too though, right? Oh, okay. So you get to decide who you want to help. I don't want either of them, so. Though I think Zangus is probably better. Okay, and these are more rocks. I'll keep looking around. Let's see what's in, what's in here. Lunatone Lounge. Ooh. Ranger Skill has us here to help us regulate the ecosystem here. Zangus and Viper has been at each other's throats. Not the biggest problem, but we can't seem to agree on which one we better get, uh, which one we better get rid of. I mean, it's impossible to predict long-term effects like that. Oh well, may as well enjoy the sights while I'm here, eh? Yeah, I'm a dancer here. Hey, what the hell? Did you not bathe before coming in? We got a new rule about that security. What? Absolutely, bathe. Who the fuck are you? Beat your ass. Yeah, that did way less damage. I should have died there. Like, I feel like that kind of that's kind of like a double-edged sword, though. And it lasts for eight turns. Hmm. I have to take time and really consider how I feel about it. In the meantime, I'll just set up sword stands and. Blow this chick away. Uh. Eliminated all stat changes. What? Buzzkill. That's... That's kind of... Huh. I think I'm going to die to the... Curse now. Yeah. But she didn't take any damage from the curse, right? So how does this work? I have no idea how this works. Wait, double stop was super effective? Okay, so is it a different typing? Uh, is she a fighting type? But no, because I'm a dragon fighting type. 
and the normal type move. I'm confused on a lot of levels right now, I'll be completely honest. I have no idea how this combat system is working. Fear of the curse. Or Corio. Wait, this one's a different color. Is this the psychic one? Or the ghost one? I don't even freaking know, but I do know it's still weak to rock, so. Revelation Dance, but it was super effective and nearly killed me in one hit. Okay. And I took Curse Damage. Hmm. If someone in the comments could explain to me exactly how the Curse works, I'd appreciate it. I might lose this shit. It doesn't affect... Oh! Oh, it's a ground type. Well, then. Oh. Hmm. Winds of change. Wait, what? It, so it's it changed its type by doing that. What the? is happening okay if it does that yeah Oh, I'm sorry, you just smelled, but eat my ass, bitch. Rude. Alright, let me go heal up, because, like, this place is kind of throwing me for a loop. Um... Hmm. Pokemon centers around here, right? I'm also trying to find the Pokemark. Um, I can't remember exactly where that guy said it was. Let's see what's over here. Everyone's been concerned about the environment since the industrialization. It's only natural. Before we were able to ventilate this place, the smog would have made having a power plant in here utterly impossible. Smog can become so prevalent in some areas that it almost acts like a weather condition. Say, were you familiar with smog weather? No. Well, here's a crash course. Smog damages all non-poison and steel types at the end of each turn. It activates the abilities Toxic Boost, Poison, Deal, Drench, Bog Down, and Chain Smoker. Special Poison, uh, special poison Fire and Dark type moves deal one type damage, but Special Fairy moves only deal times eight damage. Toxic and Desolation never miss. Desolation? What is Desolation? Power Gem has its accuracy dropped to 50 though. Synthesis and Morning Sun heal less and effective and lastly effect spores activation chances double and that's it Did you know any of that? Nope. Guess there's uh, they're just teaching a bunch of useless crap in the Academy Yep power plant west entrance east entrance I don't think we're gonna enter the power plant in this episode. I'm still exploring But uh Next episode, we'll definitely be heading down there. So look forward to it. Splat. Is this really how it ends? What? Are you guys kidding me?
That's so stupid. That's so unbelievably stupid. Whatever. I'll be right back while I redo some of this stuff. Okay, I pretty much made up all that progress. I'm 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 gonna say this right now. If I if I get like permanently soft locked and there's no way for me to like recover my save by moving around some of the save files in the game, that's it. Like I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> I'm not I'm just not a fan of that design. I don't think it makes any sense to do something like that. Just randomly kill someone playing the game. Um and again, like there are a lot of things about this game. Huh. I don't know why the music sounded familiar to me, but uh, yeah, there are a lot of things about the game that I'm just like, mm. I'm not completely sold on, and it's like that right there is one of them. Like, I I just don't appreciate just losing my progress randomly, just because I was curious as to what a dark circle on the ground would be in a RPG where you want to explore things. It like, doesn't make any sense for me to be punished and die there, but I guess that's that's the game we're playing, right? Ugh. Lose all of my progress, too. Imagine if I hadn't saved it since the start of this episode. Oh my god, dude. That'd be so bad. Depth charge? Dives underwater the first turn, then... Attacks super effective against electric types. Huh. This could also hit ground types too. Which. Yeah, I can probably get rid of wing attack for this. I think conceivably it's a good move to have, right? Elicate. Ooh. But I'm interested in that Rotom at the moment. Which I need to continue the quest for. Hmm. I have to check all the houses for that. Um, I think I'm going to end the episode here, though. Um, I don't want to advance the story too much. Just because I've been doing some exploring. Actually, before I do that, I want to go back to the cafe. The, not cafe. The lounge. Just to see what else was in there, because we didn't get too far in it, and there could be some stuff I'd rather get done on this episode. And then we'll head inside the power plant and like fully explore and advance the main story, uh, provided we don't get thrown ten separate um, side quests that we have to do, you know, again. Because I'm not gonna let this go. That was that last arc was really bad, dude. Like super bad. Um, let's see. Hell yeah, baby. Shake that. Okay. Hey there. You want to get any sugar from me? You gotta have mama get... What? You want to battle? So give mama a neon sunrise and I'll show you what I can do. I used to get it shipped from Calvera recently. Apparently there were riots there though and now there aren't any shipments. Is that like... Drug? Hello, I'm a reporter for Andromedia News. Tell us most watched and most trusted news source. Yeah, because you're you are Tellius only news source, thanks to our new tyrant overlords. Whatever, just don't bother me anymore, stupid TV puppets. Okay, I mean I'm just doing my job here, so I mean we could at least be all be civil with each other, but it's fine. Well then. Look, I'm just here because I'm supposed to get the scoop on Dr. Hawthorne when we can egg expect her energy boon to come to starlight city people can be upset about andrew media if they want but it's diverse internally the person that interviewed for uh, me for this job was the old nobility for goodness sake whatever people can think what they want but hey do you have any information about the heart or the tabloid plant no no but i know her sister her sister didn't she disappear from the region during the war yeah, a lot of noble families went to hiding or sent away their children right when things were getting really scary. Maybe that would make for an interesting story someday, but I need stuff my editor's not going to throw right back in my face. And, you know, really recently important stuff that'll make an, an impact on public opinion. 
Okay then. I have other places to get to now though. Thanks for your time. No, I don't dance. Here's what I have for sale. Escape rope. Volt orb. A bizarre orb that will paralyze the holder after their first turn. Dishearten. This breaks the user dark experience, changing their ability to defeat us. Shree Cigar. Makes a Pokemon level 30. Delicious Suchi from Serenity Springs. Resets the Pokemon's HP and defense, special defense IVs. Let's get a couple of these so I don't have to keep going back to Pokemon Centers. Even though it's probably cheaper to keep going back to the Pokemon Center. But I feel like the further down I go, the harder that becomes. Yeah, sometimes the Patriots here can get a little handsy. So it's my job as the bouncer to shut them down and make them struggle. I can make their Pokemon struggle too. Depleting a Pokemon's PP isn't usually thought about too much. But here in Tolomon, it's easier to do. This field saps your energy and PP, especially if you're trying to heal. So moves like Spite and Pressure Plate can force opponents to struggle. Try it. Maybe you'll like a uh, you'll end up a bouncer like me. That's uh oddly specific, but fair enough. All right. Oh, we didn't talk to the ranger here. Ranger Guild has us up here to regulate the ecosystem. I think I did talk to this guy. Yeah, I did talk to him. All right. Okay. I think I'll chill in here then, and we'll end the episode. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um. And I will be back next time with the next episode. Until then, have a good one and take care. Bye-bye.